basic constituents of Vedas. So very quickly, there are four Vedas. And each Veda has four constituents. So the first part is called Sangita. Sangita is a Sanskrit word which itself means collection. And it is a collection of mantras. The second part is Brahmana. Brahmana is essentially directory of doing the rituals, how a thing has to be done. The third part, the third and the fourth part really are, are, are Aranyaks are and Upanishads. Now it is these parts that are of great interest. Aranyaks are essentially those texts which have deeper meaning. India has a tradition that whatever is said in verse and even in prose normally has two meanings. One is called Shabdarth, that means word meaning, and the other is called Bhavarth, the intended meaning or the deeper meaning. Now, this is particularly applicable in case of our Vedas. So, the deeper meaning of Vedas is given in Aranyaks. Many scholars call it secret knowledge because they were required to be studied in the isolation of forests. It was enjoined that you couldn't read in the village. At that time, of course, the society was a village society, essentially. So those people were supposed to read it only by going away from villages and read it in isolation of forest. Why? Because they were supposed to meditate over it. Uninterrupted meditation. So those were our Aranyaks. Now, Upanishads are most interesting because these days, most of us know about Upanishads. Now, Upanishads are matters which deal with life, death, afterlife, rebirth, and such complex metaphysical issues. And they are the real essence of Sanatana Dharma.